My camera shut off, so this is part two. I was just getting the cover off, the front cover off the, the base, the base off of the metal. There's the cover. It's got some circuit boards in there, and there goes my drill on my foot. Glad I had my boots on. Let's see, where am I going to put that at? All right, over there. I'm on a mission now. I want this, this drive out. Because I'm thinking it's a drive. It looks like a regular little hard drive. Can't get the sucker out. I know, oh, there's another bolt, another screw. All right, I see it. It's right there. Going in. And it's out. All right. Come to Papa. Not quite. Didn't want to come to Papa. There's another screw there. Can't be very much left holding this together. What is it? I see one there, but that's that board. Okay, the bracket is held in by the wiring harness. We can pop that out real quick. Maybe. I say quick. Quick could be an hour. All right, we're not gonna let it be an hour. We're just gonna yank it. All right, there's a little wiring harness that was over the clip. Is that the missing link? Nope, it's another bracket. It's a bracket. Nope, wiring harness. Sorry. It is holding this in. Let's see. That one's out. That one's out. That is not doing anything. Probably these things that are on my hand here. Let's connect that. That's interesting. This might be gold plated on the end. And this one here. It's pretty hard to do this one handed. But success! There it is. It is a drive. You can see the circular pattern. The motor's probably right there, connected to that. Got some more gold pins. Look at those gold pins. Aren't they pretty? Another thing for me to take apart, I'll put this in my pile of drives. Where did it go? Starting to amass a pile of everything. That's the bad part. There's, it, there's that one, there's that one from yesterday or the day before. Nice circuit board in here. Nice little aluminum heat sink. Very fancy. Not really, but it's still cool looking. And as you can see, it's, it's getting there. So. At least this thing has, it's made out of metal, not a plastic box that they charge you $500 for and it has one little itty bitty circuit board in it. This thing's got a, it's got a nice conglomeration of parts inside. They're real electronics, not a bunch of plastic crap. So that's what's inside of your DirecTV programming box. The back has got satellite in, one and two. An S video connector, component videos, digital audio, got a couple USB ports there, phone jack, power jack, cord, Ethernet cord connector. A lot of scrap metal. We get the circuit board out, put the wire in the in the wire bin, and I'll be off to the races. Sorry for having to split this video up. I'm still learning my darn camera. Every time I think I got it figured out, it pulls a new, a new trick on me. Either runs out of memory or runs out of battery, and who knows? But I'm getting a little bit better all the time. I keep telling myself that. That's all for now. Have a good night. Keep on hoarding. Bye bye.